Regional banks and big banks in focus as they take loans from the government from that $700 billion package. With me now, a man who knows a lot about that. He's the, president, he's the CEO and president of the American Bankers Association, Ed Yingling, with me now. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. I appreciate it. Now, let's get right to it. TARP, regional banks starting to tap TARP for funds. Are there any restrictions on how they can use that money? And when will the consumers and small businesses start to actually see that? Well, there's some restrictions in terms of they can't raise their dividends without permission of Treasury. But basically, no. And there shouldn't be real tight restrictions or they won't take the money. Uh, they will, uh, for in large part, be putting this money to use to increase their ability to lend. Right now, you have a lot of institutions, and you'll see some community banks in the next week or two, which are actually taking in deposits, and they actually have loan demand, but in order to meet that increased loan demand, they need increased capital, and this will enable them to make those loans. We've seen the credit markets lending opening up a bit between banks, but what about for the actual American consumer, Joe the plumber, the small businessman that needs the loan? When do they really see the effect of this? I think there's some misunderstanding that loans aren't available. Uh -huh. It's gotten a little tighter out there, but small businesses shouldn't be discouraged. They should be going to their banks. Now, there are some banks that really want to expand their lending, and they need this increased capital to support that. So it will be available. Uh, additional lending will be available pretty quickly here, I believe. What we've seen in Britain and among some of the European banks is giving the money to these bigger banks to take over the smaller, weaker banks, sort of banking Darwinism, if you right. will. Is that what you and your colleagues at the Treasury have in mind here? Because that's a bit of what we've seen, but not completely. The major portion of this will go to banks that can use it to increase their lending. So the capital will support increased lending. Some of it will be used, and we saw this in the case of National City and, and the acquisition by PNC. Some of it will be used to uh, facilitate the acquisitions of troubled institutions. Because of accounting rules, when you acquire an institution now, it didn't used to be the case, you got to write down everything they have to these distressed market prices, and that leaves a capital hole. But even those acquisitions will improve lending because those weakened institutions are not in a position to increase lending. After the merger, the merged institution will be stronger and there will be more lending. You testified last week that there needs to be more government regulation of the banking industry. If there was one person that was the Uber regulator, if you will, what would his or her number one job be at a time like this? Well, we really don't think there needs to be a lot of new regulation of the banking industry because most of this happened, as Barney Frank said in, that, in the hearing I testified in, most of this happened outside the traditional banking industry. For example, mortgage brokers unregulated, off to Wall Street, not regulated uh, like the banks are regulated. But what we also said is there should be a systemic oversight body, probably going to be the Fed, but that's not the same as a super regulator. That is a body that looks across. I, I think of it as you're on top of Mount Olympus and you look around and you see all the fires. And if you see a big fire, you say, OK, what are we going to do about it? When you think about that, we really don't have that in this country. Somebody whose duty it is to look across the economy, identify fires and say, this is what we need to do about it. Do you think we will in the next administration? I think that the top priority probably of the next Congress in terms of financial regulation will be this oversight body. And then in addition, they're going to take areas where we have weak or no regulation, mortgage brokers, mm -hmm. uh, credit default swaps, probably hedge funds, and there'll be more regulation of those entities. All right, I'd love your take on what you think the banking picture will look like a year from now, especially for regional banks. We've seen some go under. Do we see more this year? How many more? What does it look like a year out? Well, hopefully the economy uh, at least stabilizes. And in that case, I don't think you'll see tremendous change. There is going to be some consolidation over the next year as some of the weaker institutions are bought by stronger institutions. That usually happens in these kinds of circumstances if you go back to the 80s. So there will be some consolidation, but there'll still be big banks, middle-sized banks, small banks. What we hope doesn't happen is we get an overreaction from Congress and a whole bunch of heavy new regulation on the banking industry. And in that case, I think you would have to be concerned that, that in fact, we will have, continue to have a credit crunch. Any banks that are sort of on your watch list now, we know the FDIC has their own 
watch list, but anyone you're particularly concerned about or any concern of too much consolidation of these banks? Well, we think consolidation can go too far, and one of the issues that has to be addressed going forward is what does it mean now that not just banks, but there are other institutions, insurance companies, Mm -hmm. securities firms that may be considered quote, too big to fail, or too intertwined with the financial markets to fail, AIG. And so this is a tough issue because you don't want to have a system where where some banks are considered to be super safe and other banks are at a disadvantage. So we have to create a financial system that continues to have the great diversity we've had in this country. We We don't want to get to the place some countries are where it's just basically dominated by one type of bank. We need the diversity we've had. All right, lots of work ahead. Ed, I appreciate your time. Thank Thank you. you. Thank Thank you. you.